Hi, my name is Lorna and this is my husband Neil and together we are Hulit Studio, which is an architectural practice based in Glasgow and we specialise in renovations, extension and one-off houses. Um, with this channel we are hoping to take you along on some of our projects and help to try and demystify the whole process and also give you some tips and tricks along the way of how to renovate and extend your own homes. So phase one will be uh, decorating, giving you some tips and tricks of how to maybe make your own house a little bit more for you while you are also saving up for your own extension. Um, phase two will be completely ripping out the down floor going for okay. and um, putting some making it all open plan and then third phase is extending but we're wanting to kind of each stage make it future proof for the next stage really and um, so when we completely rip this out and put a new kitchen we'll be future proofing so that we've got access to where the extension will be so we're not having to do things twice and things. So yeah, the next stage is we're just going to give you a wee quick tour of the house as it is so that when you see these videos of like how we decorate this living room for example you can see what it's like before. So yeah. Cheers. to the house tour of our existing house. So come in, this is our hallway and it is quite a small hallway, you've just got access to the kitchen and the living and then to the left here is your stairs up to the first floor. Credit to Heather McEwen for the lovely artwork there. Yep. So uh, in here it's quite a small space, um, we've got this artex that's here that potentially could could have asbestos in it so before we do any major works we will have to get that tested and we can ch chat you through the process in case you also might have something like that. Um, but yeah because there's certain things if it does have asbestos you will have to do specialised demolition works um, to get rid of that. So we'll kind of chat you through the process for that. But um, what we're planning on doing is eventually taking down this wall here and maybe blocking up. We still need to do the sort of drawings but um, and the sketch proposals, but maybe blocking this up and accessing the kitchen from the living room. Um, but for the moment, the short term plan will be changing this fetching light that is up here and maybe painting and putting up some decorations and stuff like that. So I'll move on to the kitchen and as you can see it's kind of your just standard kitchen. Um, what we are short term planning to do here is painting out these cabinets. Um, the eventual kitchen I would quite like to have a nice navy blue kitchen so that's quite a bold look so just to make sure that we like it I think we might paint these cabinets just to make sure that we were comfortable with that kind of bold colour choice. Um, so we're painting the cabinets in here we're also going to try experimenting with painting the worktops and maybe if there's something that we can do to disguise this big bank of white goods <laughs> and um, maybe doing something with the blinds in here as well and then just redecorating and styling. also do kind of potentially maybe want to try painting the tiles but we'll, we don't know how, how we'll go about that maybe see if it really comes to do the design. But a trial and error involved. Yeah so in the next in a phase when we rip everything out and it becomes open plan will be to completely redo this kitchen. So, so this, this wall here would be 
Go on. Yeah, so we'll be taking this wall down and potentially blocking off this access so we can have a big bank of like cupboards with um, like your fitted fridge freezer, oven, um, larder unit here and having like a breakfast bar zone over in this area. Mm -hmm. Um, we also, the access to the extension in phase three will be in here, which will potentially be there. here. Um, so when we're putting in the kitchen in phase two, we'll want to future proof to make sure that we don't have to rip anything out. Um, so maybe I think part of it will be moving the back door to here so that that back door can then become the access to the, the extension. Okay. So that'll all be kind of come out with the initial sort of design phase to make sure that everything is working to the next stage as well. So this is the living room um, and dining room space. So it is quite a long, awkward shaped room um, at the moment and it's got to be quite a multi-functional space for us. This is our living room, dining room, office and our daughter's playroom as well so it's got to work quite hard um, and we've got lovely things like original lights that we will eventually be wanting to replace and artex and stuff like that um, also has this fireplace that's over here which we are wanting to finally get rid of it's not doesn't work it's not particularly <laughs> baby proof either is it yeah so but Things like ripping that out will then have a knock-on effect with the flooring. So at the first phase, we will just be primarily decorating this. So it's going to get experimental with making our own wallpaper, maybe. Um, and All our furniture as well is yeah, from the flat. This and furniture was from our previous flat, so we've kind of tried to sandwich it in so we don't have to make a big expense of all this new furniture. But over time, that will evolve. Hopefully, when we finally get into doing the extension, it'll be a nice new sofa that we'll be putting in that will work in that space. Yeah. So yeah, first plan is decorating. We're going to be making blinds and um, taking down this door potentially. Yeah, you would. Hazard. <laughs> um, but eventually when we make this all open plan, this wall here will be getting taken down to open it into the, the hallway. And also this door, this wall here will be getting removed to make it access to the kitchen so well. open plan yeah so will be this this wall getting moved so we'll maybe have like a breakfast bar into the, the kitchen eventually but for the moment it, um we've had a few iterations with the furniture and this seems to be the one that works best for us at the moment but things may move around once we start decorating it as well so the sort of videos that we're hoping to make will be beneficial to you for the living room series will be how to make your own blinds um, how to customise your wallpaper so it mimics that sort of really expensive wallpaper that you can get um, but maybe you don't have the budget for how to do things like gallery wall, create feature spaces um, and how to kind of style up zones especially if you've got a multi-purpose room that needs to function for a lot of different aspects so it's maybe how to zone it, how to create wee focal points so that um, it works for you. Hi there. So this is our first floor. Um, this is our hall that leads on to the bathroom and the two bedrooms. This is currently a window, but here we will eventually be putting uh, access to the second floor of the extension, which is where we will hopefully have a lovely large master bedroom and ensuite. Hopefully maybe a dressing room, I'm not sure if we can stretch to that, but we'll no. see. No. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's quite a small wee hall. Um, First plan is just pretty much decorating, maybe putting some nice pictures of the family up here. Um, have to find a new place for the camels, which I'm sure they all would not be sad if they got lost. <laughs> <laughs> um, the head bathroom, we're pretty bog standard three suite bathroom, 
quite old fashioned. This will maybe be the first thing that we completely renovate. Um, You're not a fan. No. So just to put in like a nice fresh new suite and uh, tiles. But before that, we'll maybe have a go at painting the tiles and the woodwork and just freshening up a little bit. So giving you some tips of how to paint the tiles and maybe do some stenciling on the floor and then just up updating it really just to make it a bit more modern and a bit more our style. Cool. Uh, this second room is our daughter Luna's bedroom and the furniture was all what was in our original property and it actually fits quite well in here. What we will be doing in here is painting um, and also I've got plans for a pretty big mural on this wall here which I can chat you through the sort of step by step process of how I'm designing it and how we actually execute it. So that'll be pretty exciting and hopefully she will like it. Well, also um, downstairs there was loads of shelves, that, um, there's some nice picture shelves that although didn't really work up there, we're maybe going to upcycle them and put them here so we've got somewhere to display some of our nice old books that she, to make a wee focal point of that. And also over here we've got a lot of um, pictures and sort of customised artwork for her room that we got when she was born so we'll be making a gallery wall here as well then we're to kind of downstairs but we'll give you sort of a tutorial of how to maybe start create your own gallery wall. So this is our bedroom and um, not much to say about it just now <laughs> but uh, what we will be doing this actually might be the first room that we decorate because we are getting a nice new blue velvet double king size super king bed um, so that'll be the sort of starting point for the decoration of this room uh, it'll take up quite a lot of space but this is quite a dark room it's north facing and the windows aren't the biggest so i think we might try and embrace the darkness in this room um, and i've got a sort of idea of creating a watercolor pattern with dark colours and maybe bringing in other colours that we're going to be using throughout the house into this room and um, so I'm pretty excited about experimenting with that it might not work it might but we'll bring you along and if it does give you some tips on how to do it and um, once we do the extension this will no longer be our master bedroom so we'll probably redecorate then when the room has a different purpose and we also which you'll see next is our attic space so there is potential in the future to put an actual staircase up into that room if we were to do that we would be creating a partition along here and um, so this room would be coming smaller and we'd maybe have an access stair up to the, the attic here if we're wanting it to make it into a four bedroom house so that is very long term plan, if um, even after the extension, so potentially phase four. <laughs> So this is our attic and as you can see it is already been floored and plastered with a new Velux window put in. Um, which we've made into a kind of cute little seating zone which we have never sat in because we don't spend any time up here. But um, it was quite a selling point for the house because of all the storage space that you have up here. She can see a little bit of a hoarder. It's <laughs> <laughs> actually us having downsized a lot of our stuff. But um, just kind of like any attic, you've got like your baby equipment that your baby has grown out of and lots of clothes uh, up here. So um, we will just be reorganising this a little bit better. I'm kind of experimenting with a capsule wardrobe at the moment. So maybe a better organisation up here so that when it comes to get my summer clothes out or my winter clothes out, then it's a bit more easier to to do that. So kind of how to organise all your stuff. 
but yeah, I'm ready a little bit So yeah, so I just wanted to show you this area too because it was a really good selling point, lots of great space um, in here. So we've got this space to do something with as well. So the last thing that we're maybe thinking of doing is putting a porch on out here at the front and just to give us a bit more storage space down here, place like somewhere to put the pram, put our coats and just create a nice wee entrance zone before we move in to the rest of the house, especially when this is all open plan, it'll be kind of a bit of a necessity just to create that barrier because you won't have the hall to do that. Um, as you can see, one of the reasons that we bought this house was because of this view. It's nice to look out onto the countryside and see people of the cows. Um, but yeah, so that's the end really of our before house tour and hopefully you've enjoyed it and I'm excited to see the projects that we're going to come up with next. And I just want to say thank you and again subscribe if you liked it and comment down below if there's anything that you would like to see in the future from us.